did not really vlog at all yesterday. As you know, I went to James's. We watched a movie, and my back is was just hurting really bad, so I didn't even stay there that long. I was so tired. I came home. I didn't even change. I'm still in the clothes that I'm wearing yesterday. Luckily, I'm wearing leggings. But I came home, and I just crawled into bed and fell asleep. I was so tired. I had to lay, like, on my back or on my tummy like this. I don't know if you can see that because my back hurts so bad it hurt to lay on my back. Good morning, baby. <laughs> She's going to be vlogging. But anyway, um, yeah, so I just was not comfortable last night. I was just tossing and turning all night long. My back is still hurting today, but it's not as bad as yesterday. It's sore, but it doesn't hurt. I know I haven't gotten Thursday's vlog uploaded. It's actually uploading right now. I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog, which obviously really isn't that much. And obviously vlog today. I'm going to go get something to eat. And... Yeah, I don't know what I want to eat for breakfast. You ready for breakfast, Rosie? Huh? You go outside? You go outside? Hmm? <laughs> I love my baby. <laughs> don't, lick my, don't lick my face. Oh my gosh. Yeah, stop. Stop. <laughs> Good morning, baby. All right, let's go see. Let's go see what we want to eat for breakfast, okay? Are you ready? Ready? Let's go. Come on. Come on. Don't trip over my shoes, you dork. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was hilarious. She. I didn't quite catch it, but I think she slipped on the floor. <laughs> you go outside. Come on, let's go. Oh, look at it. it is so pretty out today. Go potty. Did you bring your toy in? You have. She has her breakfast right there. Did you bring in your toy? Huh? I mean your breakfast baby. <laughs> Did you bring in your toy baby? Let's go see. I don't think she did. Nope. Come here, come get your toy. Hey, come here, come get your toy. Go get your toy. You bring your toys in. You know better. Go get your toy. Good girl. Come on. Bring it in. Let's go. Good girl. <laughs> All right, go. go. Now you can go eat your breakfast. Now you can go eat your breakfast. All right. I want to eat for breakfast. I have eggs and sausage. What they have. I have my sausage. I think I'll just have my sausage biscuit. I know I've told you about these sausage biscuits. These biscuits are so good. They're Jimmy Dean's, and yeah, they're good. So I just need some paper towels. All right, really. Here we go. Okay. <sighs> You're not getting. You have your own breakfast. Go get your own breakfast. Right. Okay, go ahead and wrap this up. All right. Should probably put this on a plate.
All right, warming that up. Oh, man, it really hurts to walk. So I know I've talked about this before, but I am planning on cutting my hair cut soon and donating my hair. A friend of mine was telling me that Jean Juarez does a consultation with you, and I don't remember if she said that they cut your hair for free or what, but I want to call and get some information about, like, you know, if it's free, if you donate your hair, or what the deal is with that. So, I'm going to call them right now. Thank you for calling with Jean Juarez Salon and Spa. To ensure quality service, your call may be monitored or recorded. Almost three minutes. Please continue to hold for the next available representative. Your call is important to us. We will be with you as soon as possible. Available representative. Your call is important to us. We will be with you as soon. Thank you for calling the Algae Morris. Tell me how to help you. Hi, I had a friend of mine that used to work at a Algae Morris. I'm not sure which one, but anyway, I am planning on donating my hair. And she was saying, give them a call, and they, you know, schedule a consultation for you to kind of talk about what styles would look good for you. And then I can't remember if she said, if you are planning on donating your hair, they cut your hair for free. And I was just kind of conf um, figuring that out. We can donate your hair um, to Oxo Love for you. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you, you're still um, responsible for the cost of the haircut itself. Okay. So it wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't be a complimentary haircut or anything like that. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Okay. And how much are your, how much are your haircuts? It starts up at 50 and it does go up based on their seniority and how long the designer has been with their company. That's all I kind of wanted to figure out. Do you know what salons do, um, do haircuts for, um, if you are donating your hair that for free? Do you know any companies that do do that? I'm not a hundred percent sure. You may want to check on the locks of the website. Okay. All right, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Have a good day. All right, thank you. Yes, I can. Thank you. Thank you for holding. How may I assist you? Hi. Um. I was wondering, um, I am planning on donating my hair to Lux of Love, mm -hmm. and I didn't know um, if you do or if you know any salons that are in the area that do um, complimentary haircuts, if you are planning on donating your hair. Yeah, we do. We do do that. You do do complimentary haircuts? Oh, no, no, not complimentary. Okay, okay. Because I didn't hear that part. Um, it is considered a haircut. Okay, and how much do you charge for your haircuts? They start at 37. Okay. I was just wondering, do you do you know any other salons that in the area that do do complimentary haircuts? or? I don't know. Um, everybody's busy with their clients right now, or else I would ask, but I, okay. really, I really don't know. Okay. Um, that's fine. Um, I will, I'm kind of calling around, but I might call you guys back and schedule an appointment to do that. Yeah, that's uh, fine. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Yay! I'm watching the Mariners game. It's the second inning, and Paul Gillespie just got his first home run of the season. Yay! So it's what mm, to nothing, but it's only the second inning. Now we have the lead, and we started off the game with a double. Couldn't cash it in, but whatevs. But we have the lead, and it's one to nothing. Yay! Yay! 
So I got both vlogs up from Thursday and Friday. So now I just have today's to upload later tonight. And I'm thinking I might try and edit what I have um, so far um, up to this point. So that way that's all ready to go. But we'll see. I'm going to take a break from editing and get some food. I still not eaten lunch and it was like like almost two hours ago since I said I was going to get something to eat because I was trying to get both vlogs edited and made public and all that stuff. Anyway, I've been watching Benji and Judy, you know, they're a vlog that I watch religiously. And I am so jelly that they are in Disneyland. Okay, so seriously, JB is not even two. And she's been to Disneyland twice. I've only, I'm 30 years old and I've only been to Disneyland twice. One when I was 14 and one when I was 21. <sighs> I'm so seriously jelly. I seriously need to like talk to a group of friends and maybe start saving some money and get a group of friends to go to Disneyland. That would be awesome. I have not been to Disneyland since I was 21. That's nine years ago. Like I said, JB has been there twice and she's not even two. <laughs> But anyway, no, seriously, though, I'm so jelly. And I think that is awesome that they are, even though, you know, Juliana won't remember Disneyland, really, because she's only two. You know, they have it on video, so she can look back and look at it, even though, you know, and maybe remember some of it. I don't know. That's what I love about vlogging, is that you can go back and look on these memories that you've documented and that's why I vlog and I know I mentioned that before but that is why I vlog anyways I am gonna like I said gonna get something to eat and hang out with this baby girl like I've also mentioned before my parents are coming home tonight so I'm gonna do a little bit of picking up I don't have that big of a mess here to clean up but I'm just gonna get a few things picked up before my parents get home tonight and at some point tonight go over to James's. Um, I know that Marie and Tim are going to be going over there and I'm waiting for Marie to call me back at some point to let me know when they're planning on going over there. So I'm just making some shrimp for lunch. Um, yeah, I couldn't decide what I wanted so these looked good. So just cooking those and seriously look at the coloring on that. Awesome, awesome. Almost done. And you need to fry the other side. I know, I know. I'm not the healthiest eater. It seriously really hurts to stand unless I'm like leaning on something. I know. I really wish I under knew what I did yesterday to my back. I, I I don't know if it's from lifting kids. I don't know if it's from bending up and down when I was doing the dishes. I don't know. But all I know is it's annoying as H-E double hockey sticks. All right, here's my lunch, some shrimp, and I'm gonna go rewarm up this heating pad pillow. <sighs> it's just rice and a pillowcase type material, I guess, I don't know, flannel. Put it in for one minute, and it stays warm for quite a while, like about a half an hour or so. So it works really well. The only thing is, is that after a while you kind of have to change the rice because it starts cooking the rice from microwaving it so that's why i like doing it in a sock instead of that pillow thing then you can just untie the sock and dump the rice and put new rice in it but anyway yay so we're tied again the you, the mariners and are playing the tampa bay race and we um you know did the first blow and then they came right back and got two runs and now we just tied it. So it's two to two. And I think it's like the third or fourth inning. I think it's the third. But anyway, yeah, so I'm just going to eat my lunch and then I'm going to work on editing and working on getting some things cleaned up here. I know, my life is just so interesting. Did you wake up, baby? Yeah, did you have a good nap? Yeah, did you have a good nap? Yeah, you were sleeping for about like a half an hour or so. 
Baby, you are such the cutest. I love you. Ow! My back is hurting. Oof, big yawn, baby. Oh, oh that's really close to your face. <laughs> I'll zoom out. Hi, baby. Oh, look at that cute little fish. <gasps> I love it. The Mariners are in the lead, seven to two. I'm on my way to James's house, and it is really a pretty day. I didn't really do that much after uh, my last little clip of vlogging. I just hung out at the house. I ate lunch and hung out with the dog. I edited the vlog up until this point. This vlog should be up tonight. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't, unless I, unless it's a night like last night where I basically went home and went right into bed. I didn't even have anything. It was crazy. My back is still kind of hurting, but I've had a heat thing on it most of the day. I'm just glad I had an extra day off. Yesterday it was really kind of nice um, getting some things done because I didn't have to work. I love these three-day weekends, but the only thing is that it's hard going back to work after a three-day weekend. But this extra day, or I guess half of a day, was very, very much needed. By the way, look at the sun. It is so pretty. Check out that sunset. Again, so gorgeous. As you can tell, I'm back in my apartment. I'm actually here for the night, so, but tomorrow night, like I said, I'll be at my parents' house. But tonight was fun. I went over to James's. I didn't vlog at all when I went over to James's. I went over there. Marie and Tim actually got there a lot faster than I thought they would be. Because I thought they were going to a reception, but then they chose not to. We watched Matilda, or the end of Matilda. And then we decided that we wanted to go to Old Anna Hall's. One of our favorite places to eat dinner. I got fish and chips. And actually I left that in the Whoops. That's okay. I'll go get it later. And after dinner, we went to Walgreens and got a couple of red boxes. We got Veronica Mars and Gambit. We only watched Veronica Mars because by the time we finished that movie, it was kind of late. Then we went back to James's place and watched the movie. And I, of course, as always, dozed off. I didn't fall asleep, fall asleep, but I did doze off. And then after the movie ended, uh, I took Tim and Maria over to Tim's place so Tim could give her a ride home. And then I came here and did a little bit of unpacking and then tomorrow I get to repack again. It's been a couple of days since I have formally ended a vlog so I will go ahead and now formally end this vlog by um, saying goodnight and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, BLT. I'm using the Hawaiian sweet bread. I want to see what it's like with the Hawaiian sweet bread. <sighs> but I hurt my back somehow. I really don't know how I did. It's driving me crazy. Anyway, I'm going to eat my lunch.